Hello, welcome to another Bowl of Linux Soup. This is part two of my Bash tutorial. Uh, in my previous video, I showed you a few commands, including how to create and delete files. Now I'm going to show you how to edit them. So I'm going to start with the graphical way to do it, which in Unity and GNOME is going to be get it, or g edit. Uh, in LXDE and be leaf pad, you probably have that. In XFCE, you'll probably be using mouse pad. And in KDE, you'll probably be using Kate. Uh, since this is in Unity, I'm going to be using Get It. Uh, I haven't looked at all the text editors uh, other than leaf pad and Get It. Leaf pad is a bit more basic, it doesn't have syntax highlighting and a lot of other things. But it's pretty lightweight. But today we're going to be looking at get it. So I can open a file. Let me create a file first. I'll do it through the terminal. Text.txt. Open a file. I go to my home folder, here we are, this is some um, text, save that, and now uh, it's saved, or alternatively I could, um, I could go to my home folder, I could right click, open with text editor, and it'll do a uh, get it. The other text editor you'll be using is, well, I'll be showing you how to use this command line base in case you're in a command line or if you're doing something like an Arch Linux install and you don't have a GUI, is with Nano. And this is on Ubuntu by default, by sudo use it by default. I'll cover sudo in another video. But, uh, Nano, your file, and there we go some text, this, this, uh, caps lock, this is some more text. Control X to exit, I modified the files. It's going to ask me if I want to type, or if I want to save it now. I will type yes, and the file name, I'm just going to keep the same and I'll write to that file name. Save. Uh, I could hit Control O, as well, and right to it. I, I think control O does it, yeah. That should do it. That's another way of doing it. That will uh, save it, and control X will exit. Control will save without exiting it. Uh, if you want to copy and paste, first you have to cut the text. So you hit control K, and then uh, control U, and it'll paste it. But uh, oops, let me do that again. It'll stay in the buffer until you cut something new. And that's how you copy and paste. Use the arrow keys to move around. Uh, and there is, there's a way to configure Nano, uh, through a file, and we'll get to that in a minute. Alright, so here's the Arch Wiki page on Nano. If you're interested in Nano, then I recommend you read it. Um, you can use the .nano RC to configure your file, and one of the configurations is mass support, so you don't have to use arrow keys to move around. Uh, because it can get pretty tiring. So this can be a handy little uh, text editor for, so that uh, you don't always have a GUI, you still have the text editor. You get it and you lose your GUI, you get it. But if you lose your GUI with Nano, all you're really losing is your mouse support. So it can be a nice little editor to get used to, maybe customize it to your liking, so that if you do lose your GUI, you still have your favorite text editor. Uh, 
very good too if you're like doing Arch Linux. You could uh, edit it, everything with Nano, all your files, get your GUI, bam, there's your mouse support, and you have an almost graphical text editor. So I'm just going to walk you through a few settings to customize it. So let's bring up our terminal. There is a default uh, Nano RC file, a global one, that our Nano is deriving settings from. So we can copy that. And use this template, we can copy the home directory. So, cp is our copy command. What we're copying from is slash etc slash nano rc. We're copying to our home directory tilde, and we're going to tilde slash, we're going to name that copy dot nano rc. Now we can edit our file dot uh, nano dot nano rc. Uh, and here are all sorts of options like auto indent. So if I hit tab and indent text, it'll auto indent. That's useful for scripting. Uh, set up a backup file. So let's say the application crashed, the system crashed, we got a backup file. So we'd have the monster changes. And we can specify the directory, the backup directory. So maybe I could make it slash temp. Uh, you could do backward searching backward searches by default. Uh, let's see here. Do all sorts of fun things. Here's our precious mouse support. Uh, we can get rid of the help here. Maybe you don't want to um, see the uh, key binds. I should mention the caret, the up caret you're seeing means control. So control G, G control O, and control R. But I, I personally don't mind it, but if you do, you can do set no help, and that'll get rid of that, so you don't have to see it. Uh, maybe you want to wrap our text, so we'll comment that out. Uh, oh, and I think you can also rebind hotkeys, in case you don't like the default ones, you can do that. I haven't used Nano too much, so uh, I'm not an expert on this editor. But... Uh, you read the arch wiki and I'll tell you some good stuff about it. So let's save this. Let's create text.txt because I removed it. Let's edit it. As we can see right off the bat, the help is gone because of uh, the set no help. So this is some text. This this is indented text. This is auto dented text. Oops. And let's try our mouse support. Ah. As you can see, we have our mouse support. So it's almost kind of graphical, but it's in the command line, that which is neat. So let's save that, um, x, y, enter, and that's nano. I probably should have showed you how to customize get it, although it's, it's kind of like using a uh, notepad. You just go to the preferences, it's really easy to figure out. You just go to home, go to the uh, text editor, and go to uh, preferences. You can display your line numbers. Not sure what that does. Uh, we can highlight the current line and highlight matching brackets. So if I did something like a Python script, I want to display. Alright, so now I get my syntax highlighting. Yeah. And then it does the matching brackets. 
Uh, but my tab is not four spaces. So we can set the uh, tab width to four spaces, insert spaces, automatic indentation, and we can auto save files, create a backup of it before saving, all sorts of stuff. You can get plugins for it. We have different uh, styles. That looks pretty nice. Can look like Kate, Oblivion, I like that. I have to say Cobalt, yeah, Cobalt, I like Cobalt. Alright, um... And let's see here, oh, auto-indented. So we custom, so you can customize get it that way, and that was how to edit files. This can be very, very important, especially if you use something like R2. You have to edit files a lot. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Pinecast, and stay tuned for another.